Last year, the country's most sought after wine region earned a new title as the Napa Valley closed out 2013 as the driest year on record. But will water worry seep into the wine that you drink? That's a question we hope to answer. The hot topic here isn't wine ratings and reviews, it's rain. Not idle chatter in wine country to talk about the weather. I mean, this is what we talk about. The fact that it's warm today, it is balmy. I would love it to be raining like mad and cold. With water rationing a reality for parts of the Golden State, Executive Director of the Napa Valley Grape Growers, Jennifer Putnam, believes restrictions, while unlikely, would leave wine regions withered. So worst case scenario for us is regulation. Realistic worst case scenario is a very small crop. It could be amazing quality. We're not talking about quality here. We're really just talking about quantity in a drought year. As far as harvest for 2013 goes, I've heard folks say it's going to be Fabulous. Tons of grapes coming in because the weather was so good. 2012 and 2013 were both big crops, and so we do have supply. So I don't think that the consumer will feel it if we only have this one year of drought. If we get into two, three, four, five years of drought, then it's a different story. Seasoned winemaker Tim Mondavi, son of the legendary Robert Mondavi, isn't taking the lack of water lightly. Climate change is a serious issue. Vines are far more drought resistant than row crops, than all of our foods on our table. My family has been in the wine business now for four generations. Having spent all of my life growing up in Oakville at Robert Mondavi Winery and Opus One, I'm very proud of my family's history. In continuum, we carry on with what the best of those things are. We're living a dream. A refreshing way of life here in the Napa Valley, where telling time in a bottle is just another day at the office. What makes wine so attractive to all of us is that it's an agricultural product that comes right out of the ground from a specific place in a specific growing year with those conditions. And so you'll look at the 2014 and you'll say, that's a different wine. And that was a different year. And you get to taste it in the bottle. There's a great saying one of our growers said, you know, this year is just like every other year, different. There are three crucial times when grape growers need water. Bud break, which is happening right now. Bloom, which typically takes place around April or May. And then veration, that's when the grapes start to change their colors. And that starts in the summer.